provides for Tony. Okay. Provides to him. You know what I mean? And so what we're doing is, and just light of being fair, mm -hmm. um, we're going to give all the liquor licensees, not all liquor licensees, but all distributors, um, another copy of this letter. I mean, you guys probably still have the one hanging up. Some of the liquor yeah. have said mm -hmm. they've torn it down since then mm -hmm. for some reason. Um, and then we're actually going to, if you would be willing to sign these, we're actually going to be requesting sales receipts um, just to see if we can link up, line up what he's been buying possibly with what somebody in a certain time frame has been coming in on certain dates that okay. we've contacted them with alcohol. Okay. See if maybe we can identify Ten who's point. coming in. You know, this is just one of the avenues that we're going to try to take to try to investigate this to figure it out. Because I'd like to figure out who's buying for him and, and nip it off because the truth of the matter is when we first served him as a habitual drunkard, he was going in, nobody was selling to him. We stopped having problems with the guy. Yeah. And this last week, we've had three incidents in the last week and where he's been in possession, drunk and or in possession of alcohol. Here in Fraser? Um, over in Winter Park. He's, been, he's been staying down in Winter Park. And so if somebody sold to Tony, obviously we have an issue. Yeah. But if somebody bought for Tony, there's no issue against the business. The, yeah. You, yeah. There's no violation there. Yeah, I just but. want to know because I haven't seen him. He's been hanging out in Winter Park in Winter next Park. to Carver's so, just because got, no one's bothering him. He's got enough yeah. people around the, the towns that somebody could swing in but pick up a case of beer for him and drop it off on the way. Because there was a guy a long time ago still buying still reserve for him. And I told the guy, you know you can get in trouble for this because I can't really refuse to you because I'm not 100% sure you're buying. But I know you don't drink and you're buying steel. Yeah. And I know, you know, this is what we got from the police department and you can get yourself in trouble. So he stopped buying yeah. for him. But this, I haven't seen the guy buying for him or Tony in a long right. time. And, and that's the weirdest so. thing is Tony's not drinking what he normally drinks. Yeah. It was a bottle of wine earlier and then it was 175 Schmirnoff, which isn't too unusual. Yeah. And then it was a 15 rack of... Yeah. yeah, he would either get school or steel reserves. Right, it's a it's Tony a, thing. So we whenever, contacted him a couple times. Like I contacted him one night. He just had a grocery bag full of PDRs, you know. And it's just I think Tony's yeah. getting what Tony can get. Yeah, get and he may be stealing too. We don't yeah. know. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, Bowie. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> They're coming together. She said you were working the register earlier, so we were waiting, waiting for you to come back. <laughs> I ain't telling no minor. No. <laughs> um, no. So. Uh, Tony's getting alcohol somehow. I know he's trespassed from here and you're not selling to him, but we're giving all the liquor establishments things just to get the their sales. Letter. The same letter as well as we're requesting sales receipts yeah. just to make sure that it's not coming from yours, just so that one liquor store is not saying that we're targeting them or anything. Yeah. So we're going to request your sales receipts from the week so far um, just to make sure, one, it's not you, or two, can we line up someone that's buying for Tony? Um, yeah. That's cause because this week we've already run like three or four calls with Tony because he's drinking again and he's got really weird stuff. He's got wine. He's got Smirnoff. He's got a 15 rack of Bud with him. Like not steel, that's not, that's not steel reserve right. and not school vodka. Like and, and not fireball. See, we can tell yeah. when somebody comes in to buy for him. Yeah, anybody like, else that. drinks steel reserve in this? Well, well they're, maybe they're a couple. They're, they're, they're <laughs> but we know there's another exactly homeless who. dude. Yeah, there's another homeless dude that the one in Grimby. Oh, uh, is that the Jack guy that works at 7-Eleven? We heard about a Jack guy that goes over to Winter Park Wine and Spirits. They said he comes in, and he, I, he's assuming because he's a transient guy that maybe, maybe he links up with Tony and, and gives him some alcohol, but I don't know. I don't know who that guy is. We have other ways we're going to try to find out who's doing it as well, but like I said, I don't think any of this... What, the sales I haven't was, seen him around yeah, here. That's what the sales, oh, and that's the, he hasn't been over here. He's yeah. been hanging out in, in, in Winter Park. In Winter Park. Yeah. But we're wondering if maybe somebody knows, swings in, grabs a case, drops it off to him. Only if he's over here do yeah. they do that. They don't right. they don't make the special drive. Yeah. Because we do. Yeah. And we try to cut that person off too. Absolutely. No, we got you. Well, right on. We'll uh, we'll leave this uh, just this oh, request for yeah. business records for you, mm -hmm. um, and it, you know if it's something that's uh, easy like Icebox, they are able to just like take their POS system, make it an Excel document, just email it. That'd be great. If you've got to print it off, we'll come look at it. Things like that. So we're um, looking at a thirty-year-old computer system. And, and so we ran into that with Scott, <laughs> with Scott over at uh, Mine's older same. than yeah. his. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you don't have the ability to recall, I know we, we looked for some receipts that one time during that sex assault at the Holiday Inn. Uh -huh. um, whatever you can give me, whether that's uh, that unit price or 
something like that. Um, and I'm happy to work with you guys too. And if you don't have it, you don't have it, you know. You can see how much steel we've sold. No, yeah. but I don't th are you guys looking for steel? No, now, right? we'd be looking for the 175 of Smirnoff, the regular, or a 15 pack of Bud. Yeah, that's what okay. he had this morning. So like a brand new case so of Bud. So for today? That just open. Uh, so uh, yesterday or today would be the Bud. The Smirnoff would have been uh, okay, so Monday, 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 Tuesday, or Wednesday. Okay. So, so you yeah. look and see the Smirnoff month to date. Yeah. But no, I, I, I can. Don't... And if you guys just give us those specific things. I think well, I you can look it up right now, okay? Or you not Well, not the itemize. Uh, yeah, you can. Well, you can see. no, but please to find out the person's name. Oh. That's what they want. They don't want to see how many bottles you sold. They want to see who you sold them to. Well, and I think I also, said. if we can identify like when they were sold during that time, we could figure out who who they were sold to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Boy, can you hand me my phone, please? Hey, hey. Good, how's it going, guys? Good, good. How are you? What's that called? Hey, Emily. Can I have a slot? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Can we get signed one of those now? Yeah. Uh, here. We, we We're going to leave one. Yeah, we'll leave one for you guys. Yeah. There. We'll sign that one. So there's a copy for us, copy for you. So on the second page, we'll just need a signature on both. <sighs> yeah, it's just annoying at this point. Yeah. You got anything fun and exciting in the whiskey world, Bowie? Uh, that you're willing to sell. <laughs> <laughs> the Kentucky Owl. Oh. You also have a let me just see real quick. What do you want to see? I'm oh, sorry. Yep, you're good. I'm behind you. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. right. I mean, I could look this morning to see what you saw and itemize it. Yeah. But you guys don't know if it was from this morning or. It could have been last night, night. yeah. The thing so. is, you were thinking about it, like. If he got a case of beer last night, Tony probably would drink that case of beer last night. Yeah. But I don't so, know that he didn't have something else he was What did he have night. this morning, sir? He had a 15-pack of uh, Budweiser. It was the American flag cans. And the case was open. There was one beer missing, and the beer that was out was full. And I was like, you just got this. You or just got it? Yeah. Let me go see if what I sold this morning. Budweiser, not Bud Light, right? Budweiser, Budweiser correct. You got it. Come here, fireballs on sale. Mm
Oh. Yeah, and, and you don't got to get it to us today, you know. Uh, no, I just want to see real quick if I could find it. I have some from Bud, but not, it was a 24 pack. Mm -hmm. Like I say, he very well could just be stealing something from somebody or, you know. Yeah. I'll look into it, and if I find anything, I'll... Email you this? Yeah, and and if uh, if you whatever you can get for receipts, just you know send to us and we can go through it too. You don't gotta spend your time doing it. Okay. Um, or if you don't have anything, or you're not able to recall anything, just send me an email that says, "Hey, we're not able to recall anything or whatever okay. else." So. Perfect. All right. Thanks awesome. so much. Thank you. These are the sales for sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Okay. Well, they they want to see. I it isn't going to be broken down by... That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I say, it's my job to go through and pick things out. So, um, yeah, if, if that's a 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, and, and if we know we didn't sell any Budweiser this morning, then you're good to go. I sold the 24 pack. I yeah. sold the 24 pack. But that's, yeah, that's not lining what up with what we got. Yeah. Yeah, if you just get them back to me. Absolutely, man. Will do. We appreciate yeah, you. your... You might have somebody going in and stealing stuff. Not who knows. Well, we don't know. Does he have somebody that will set something out back for him, and right. then they're not actually selling it or what? But right. like I said, you know, I have no problem if, if you're a drinker, but when you start causing problems throughout the community again, then yeah. it becomes an issue. Right, yeah. Exactly. And he's, he's already starting to trash other businesses and, you know, where he's sleeping and stuff. And, you know, businesses don't need to put up with that. So. Well, the other thing, too, is when, when we first did this, he sobered up, and we weren't having any issues with the guy. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden it starts getting cold again and he's right back to this crap. So. Yeah, it's just annoying. Yeah, if you're time. good with it, we'll, uh, we'll just go through that stuff. And bring it back, yeah. We'll, we'll bring it right back to you. I appreciate you guys. I won't have the tent until tomorrow. Okay. My computer doesn't update until tomorrow. Well, sure. you know, and the hon honestly, knowing that you haven't sold, because the 10th is what, today? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Knowing that you haven't sold, I think we're probably good. I, I would agree. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I awesome. looked through whatever we have sold right now and I... You guys are oh, already good. We'll bring back these receipts. Yeah. And if we narrow down a certain transaction and we're able to get more info, great. If not, oh yeah. well. Cool. So, awesome. Thanks, thanks as always. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. You too. Take care.